And for Labor, felt like we got in a little time machine today because the NBN was um, a talking point. Now, to, to, to take our viewers briefly through what happened, the NBN, when it was first conceived, was going to um, be this big uh, government-owned company that was when sold off. Gradually, it became less viable for it even to be sold off. Who would do it? Who would buy it? How would that process happen? Before the last election, Anthony Albanese actually on one of his election day drops said, we will keep the NBN in government hands. And the implication has always been to keep the service good and you know, to not have to focus on making a profit, i.e. I. keep prices lower. And now he's going again on it, where, I mean, like, is it just a bit of a wedge? See what the opposition says on it? Is there anything more to it? Doesn't seem much to it to me. I mean, what's this all about? It would be different if Peter Dutton or Jane Hume or <coughs> Angus Taylor had suggested they might sell it or there was some secret opposition policy document that said that. There isn't. Looks like Medi-Scare-type tactics to me. And, um, yeah, I don't think it'll get picked up broadly at all. I mean, if they keep hammering away at it, maybe they can have some success. But, I mean, there's a bit of a view around this place that's a little bit desperate and uh, that's how it feels to me. I mean, it's interesting, though, you... You talk about these things a bit and then they can be used in campaign advertising. It was put to me that recent rather unhelpful nine newspapers story saying the Treasurer was seeking advice on negative gearing. Uh, a Labor operative said to me that wasn't helpful to us because those headlines will be used in the election campaign in social media advertising against us, whether it's true we're using it or not. But we're not, mm. but that's how these things work. Could, could it be fishing? Could they heard a rumour that maybe somehow in the coalition's plans this would, you know, be part of their budget plans and they stick the fishing rod out there? Yeah, no, well, yeah, I mean, Anthony Albert. But when would the coalition hear about coalition it before the media? Fishing yesterday and that, you know, Julie Collins, the fishing minister, should get the question. But, um, <laughs> uh, uh, well, if, the, if it was, <clears throat> I assume they would say so. And uh, I assume they would brief so. And I've put a question in. I've had no such briefing that there's right. any sort of suggestion of it. So it seems, frankly, a little bit bizarre to me.